Hello friends, how is everyone doing? Recently we got this new IKEA desk for our small office slash studio space. I fell in love with the threadles and I wanted a white tabletop because it helps to brighten the room. I found this picture of a little corner of an arch in a garden full of life and plants and decided to do my own. I love these secret garden spaces where you can relax and enjoy nature. I hope you can relax while watching me paint this small garden. Let's escape into the secret place together and enjoy the sound of the birds. Painting makes everything go away. I get immersed in the brush strokes, the colors and the shapes. It takes me to a different place full of happiness and calm. But sometimes I find myself wondering about my style of painting. Is it good? Is it realistic? Do the shapes feel strange? Maybe everyone has that thought at some point. Then I ask myself, is this worth it? Should I be scared? People will find my work terrible. It brings me a lot of joy, so I must keep doing it. I realize it's not really how realistic it looks that matters to me, but what people feel when they look at it. Because when I'm appreciating a painting, I love to feel something. Happiness, sadness, or anything else, anger, anything. Every day I try to improve my work and my work ethic. It's easier now because I have a goal for myself. Um, I used to be very scared of sharing anything with people, even though I longed for it. Uh, when it comes to painting or making videos, it's a way to express myself and share those ideas with others. There are so many creative people in the world and they all inspire me to keep working. All their videos, everything I watch is just so inspiring. My art process starts with an image. I am very visual, so I need pictures to inspire me and build an idea of what I want to paint. Usually, it's something related to nature. I use a photo as an inspiration. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to paint without visual guidance. So with this painting, for example, I looked at a photo of a sacred garden and began to sketch. I always try to plan out the colors I want to use. The more I prepare them, the better I am at imagining them, so it's easier to pick them out. And actually, with this painting... Um, I started the, the sketch with the photo, but then as I started adding in colors, I lost the photo and I just kept doing it with, you know, the, the idea that I had of the photo, my memory of it, but I just let my imagination take over and just do it as I wanted to do it and try to see it as a challenge as to not be so controlled by the photo and just let that use the photo as a sketch itself and then just let the colors guide me. And sometimes I get lost with how many things, you know, so many things I want to do at once, but my main focus is to paint and paint for as long as I can. Because sometimes running your own art business means the art doesn't come first. So I always try to enjoy it. This painting actually made me feel very proud and happy because I wasn't really paying attention to the whole thing. I was working by layers and working with details and colors and I wasn't really looking at the whole painting as one. So when I finally finished it and I took a step back and I looked at it, I was actually surprised because to me it looked good 
and I I enjoyed it and the feeling that you have when you finish a painting and you're actually proud and happy of your work it's so good and it made me feel really really good and obviously having all this new furniture and not just the desk but also the Alex drawers it's always exciting to paint in a new place and I'm slowly trying to work my way into an art studio within my home um, but it's just so fulfilling to take these steps and to show it on videos to show it in pictures it's always so satisfying to see that I have the goal um, and I'm trying step by step to do it and that makes me very 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 proud because even though this is not my business and it's not an art business, it's not something that I make money of, it still takes a lot of work to try and build something so that maybe in the future it could be your job or not. I'm not doing it as I'm not doing it for the job to be the goal. I'm doing it because I love it and I just have to do it, you know, it's just something that makes you happy and you want to keep on working, keep on improving because when you go painting, at least for me, it's painting, I forget about the world and I'm just in my own little world doing something that I love. And for other people, it could be writing, it could be music, it could be reading, it could be so many things. And... Um, not only painting but reading to me is also something that takes me to a different place and brings me such joy so painting this small little garden space was definitely very very good and if you watched until the end thank you so much for supporting me and my art it means the world i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you very soon.